Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with a, another quick transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. This is something that I just saw on Reddit and I've thought about doing it in the past, but now seeing that people have actually done it, though they've done it with another um, material, but uh, or glue, you basically have to come up with some rubber cement or something that's gonna stick really hard. Now I'm gonna use a method that I've actually been using to fix cracked uh, plastic which I saw on YouTube a while back, um, mixing baking soda and super glue. But this mod today, uh, uh, perhaps it's because, you know, I started off on keyboards that were ISO um, and back in the 80s. But I loved stepped lock, key, stepped caps lock key. Though it's a key, probably the key I use the least on the keyboard, I still, I just like the design. Now, as most of us know, the majority of hot swap keyboards, with just a few exceptions, um, only offer the standard, you know, centered instead of staggered um, position for the switch. So these stuff cap locks that come with a lot of kits, not all of them, but practically all of them, especially ones that are, you know, specifically meant to cater to as many layouts as possible. So this is this a cheaper die sub kit. Um, I think it's a clone of Arctic, I believe. I'm not sure. I do know I paid $12.99 for this set, so I'm willing to take a chance on this you know, on this modification if it doesn't work, but I just wanted to give it a chance. Basically, what I'm going to do is here's the standard key uh, caps lock that does fit. I'm going to go ahead and take the stem and cut it at the bottom as close to the bottom as I can get with these, uh, yeah, that's a problem. It might, might be a little tricky, but I think I can do it. Um, and I want to cut the stem off and then basically move it over. I mean, it's literally, I'm moving it over a hair. I mean, <clears throat> it's a matter of about, let's say two millimeters over. Um, I'm almost just basically exchanging where the end of it is. Now I got to make sure there's still going to be enough space right here in order for um, the switch, you know, to have space when it goes down so it doesn't interfere. But like I said, I'm going to be using uh, baking soda and super glue to reattach it to the, um, reattach the, the stem to the key and make sure that it's actually going to stay on there so first things first let's go ahead and because it, this is shallow and I can't get like a flush cut because I, I mean these are called flush cutters and if I could get oh actually coming from here I can get much closer to the stem but I want to cut down as low as possible as I can on here so that you know I, I, it's a flat surface I'm getting as much of the stem keycap stem as possible. So, just conducting a bit of surgery here. Doing it slow. I don't want to do it in one fell swoop. I want to make sure that I'm getting down into there. Oh, yeah. Don't want to, I want to try to avoid distorting the, the stem as well. So, That's another thing you got to keep an eye out for. Uh, I think his name is Rossman. Um, I watched some of his videos on YouTube. He does a lot of uh, uh, laptop and cell phone repairs, and he's been uh, very anti app. And he said something that stood out to me, and it's true. I actually do it, uh, or would have been doing it uh, subconsciously, is don't look for where something falls. Listen for where something falls, and not that we have you know, the ability for radar, but I've actually, I'm, I tend to find things more often if I drop them, if I pay attention to what, you know, it sounded like it hit some plastic. Oh, there's an empty plastic. You know, there's, um, our ears are actually, you know, sound can provide us, you know, good location as well. All right, so I've squeezed this back down to normal. Now I'm gonna 
I want to make sure that it gets a good grip on there, so I'm going to kind of clean this off. Now, it's not going to be perfect, mind you, but I don't expect it to be. I just want it to be as smooth as I can get it in order to be able to wait, stick the key back down and glue it. in the center. Now we can actually still kind of see the faded out line. Like I said, we don't want to go all the way up against here because then it's going to get stuck. We more want it to sit right about there. Now, the bottom of this is not a flat. Now I'm going to take a file and just bring this down a little bit. I'm just not doing it over the keyboard. I don't want the. Uh, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna work on it. And try to make it perfect, but I'm just, just trying to get it eh, flatter than it was. There was a couple of high points in there, so I just kind of want to bring those high points out. So now it stands on its own. Before it was wanting to fall over. All right, so we've got that part down. Now comes the fun part. Now, like I said, I've seen this on YouTube and I've used it um, on a couple of keyboards that I've had in fall and they you know, created cracks primarily in the corner. Oh, this one has a slight little bit. Um, but though I'm usually doing the ones that I end up painting. Um, but using this as a filler you mixing the super glue with the baking soda is it's just it's, it's insane how well it works um so all right so basically what i'm going to want to do here is first put a tiny little pile of baking soda i'm going to see what i can use as a scooper what the, oh, sorry about that what can I use as a scooper if I don't really need that much in there? I could probably use a flat head tip. Yeah, because I don't have really another tool that's going to... Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. So I'm gonna be messing with super glue. This is a little better. Alright, yeah. Flat now. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead. close as possible to where that keycap above me is. Alright. Alright. I'm going to drop a couple of drops of super glue. Now I'm going to 
grab the stem. Do my best to position it. T-Center looks to line up. So it looks like it's lined up there perfectly. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and uh, see how well it looks. I'm gonna have to take it off this paper. It's not wanting to focus the best on there. And this usually doesn't take long to dry. I mean, within 10 or 15 minutes, it should be. Was actually much quicker. I was going to pause and come back in a few minutes, but hmm. all right. So it looks that I mean it goes in and out of the switch just fine. Let's see. Ah, just off. You see, it's interfering. So it's a little bit too much over this way. Well, you know what? We already cut it off once. Why don't we do it again? We still got this in there. You know, we need to move it over that way. Just, I mean, half a millimeter. See? Uh, wow, this is, I mean, seconds ago. I mean, well, a couple minutes ago now. But it's already, it's like it's bonded. To the keycap because I was just going to try to pry it off. But, oh, all right, that took some force. All right, let's try to clean up this a little bit of. All right, I think we may have one more chance at this. We may try to clean up that area. Thankfully, we're moving over in the other direction, not in the direction where there's already uh, basically a new layer of the super blue and. I gotta be quick on a draw. Basically, have the stem ready to go as it pour the super glue. All
may have it this time. And another. Yeah, I'm afraid it's going to hit with the switch there. I don't know if there'll be enough clearance. Oh, wow. There's just enough clearance. it since it looks like I actually got it right this time. Fingers crossed. So the second bit of super glue is more for reinforcement of the new, oh, the new bits of uh, baking soda. Because it does, it hardens and it becomes quite solid. Alright, so I'm just going to let it rest while I put stuff away since before it did dry pretty quickly. Alright, moment of truth. Looks like it works. All right, yeah. So, I mean, obviously this is a destructive method, but it's using a keycap that if you don't have a stepped keycap set already, I mean a keycap, stepped keycap keyboard, compatible keyboard, then you probably would never use the key. So if you're looking to get the stepped keycap um, look on your keyboard on a regular standard, I mean, it's it, it, it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's also not the hardest. I mean, it's just a little bit of uh, arts and craft and some measuring. I mean, I obviously I could have probably used some graph paper and measured and used my caliper and gotten exactly where I needed to be, but I wanted to see if I could do it just eyeballing. We saw the first time I was a little bit too close, but then moved it over. Um, the cap does not seem, or I mean the stem, it is ah, just the slightest bit higher uh, than this cap is, So, but it's not enough that I think it's going to cause interference. It's going on to the switch and actuating just fine just like normal key. So, um, yeah, glad that worked out. So if you guys want to have the stepped keycap look uh, on a keyboard that does not have that compatibility and you have an, you have the, the step caps lock with your keycap set, I mean, all you need is a pair of uh, uh, flush cutters. Um, I'd recommend using the uh, tweezers that help me to align because you want to make sure that that stem is aligned north to south, uh, east to west. So it's going to go, on, I mean, you don't want it going on the switch sideways. It's just not going to work at an angle. Um, and then you need some super glue and some baking soda. Now there are other, there's epoxies, there's uh, rubber cement, there's other things that you can use that will bond the plastic. You want to make sure it's not something that's going to eat away at the plastic and that it's actually going to bond the plastic. But there's tons of different um, adhesives that you guys, you know, if you want to try this, could use and should work just fine. So, uh, just a quick little mod. It was an idea. Like I said, I saw it on Reddit and I was like, hey, why not try it? I had thought about it before, but I just never, I don't know, I just never got around to it. So I wanted to do this quick video. If you guys want to have that step cap, so look, it's not that hard. Like I said, this is a uh, die subset that I bought for $12.99. They have 
I want to say like 36 different um, the Yingling store I believe on Alley has probably about 30 to 36 different uh, clone sets that are die sub but they're really nice this one is the um, yeah this one's XDA but you can get them in XDA um, some come in cherry some even come in SA but they're those are priced a little bit higher but these um, I like them a lot and for the price they can't be beat now on a uh, CIY uh, is it Fester 68 <laughs> think of it for a second um, this is actually new fees version so it's the CIY test 68 anyway look we have step caps Yay! all right so until next transmission well I got a lot of videos incoming and it's gonna take me a little while to get my new uh, studio or filming uh, location set up but I do have a raft of videos here I, I will be releasing over the next few days or next week um, but I apologize. I mean, obviously the holidays and everything, and between that and a couple other things that just kind of took my bandwidth, I, I kind of slowed down on the videos, and I do apologize. But you guys ever have any ideas for any mods or something that, hey, I'm not sure if this will work, or hey, Bad Mark, would you try this mod and see if it works? As long as it's not too insane, um, I might give it a shot. So feel free always to shoot me ideas either in the comment section here or you can hit me up on Discord, um, on Budget Keeps Discord, which is discord.budgetkeeps.com, or on budgetkeeps.com, which redirects to the subreddit, uh, Budget Keeps, and I'm Bad Mark on there. So if you want, send me, send me your suggestions. I've got keyboards, and I love experimenting. So until next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.